I say yo, oh, welcome to the BBW show, you feel me? We talk battle rap, basketball, and wrestling on a daily basis. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. The topic for today is NBA Power Rankings. Let's get it, you feel me? Great week of NBA basketball, a lot of great superstar performances. I was super excited, super, super excited. Now, this is Power Rankings week number 11. This is the 11th installment of Power Rankings for this season. We got to talk about number 11 himself, Kyrie Irving. Kyrie went crazy. Went crazy for the match without Luka. Luka missed the last four games, three games, I think. Kyrie had a 40 ball, a 39-point game, probably a 38-point game. My son was going crazy. Kyrie really was reminding people who the hell he was. Who the hell he was, bro. Kyrie Irvington. They beat the Pelicans twice. They beat the Knicks, who was white hot. And then they lost to the Lakers in a great game. That was a great game. I'm lying. Lakers blew them out, but still. You feel me? Shout out to the Dallas Mavericks. Um, next, we got to talk about the Philadelphia 76ers. Last week, they was 3-0. They beat the Nuggets in a super heavyweight boxing match. Between Nikola Jokic and Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid won. Yes, Joel Embiid won. Now let's see if he shows up in Denver next week so Jokic could get his get back. Um, the uh, 76ers also beat the Houston Rockets this week and then they beat the Sacramento Kings. Good week for the 76ers. Embiid is looking like MVP. I'm not going to lie. It's looking like it could be Embiid right now. If Embiid wins MVP, that's going to be the sixth straight year that has went to a big. Sixth straight year, the regular season MVP went to a big. First, it was Giannis back-to-back. -back. Then it was Jokic back-to-back. -back. Then Embiid won one. Now, if Embiid wins another one, that's six bigs. That's six MVPs between three bigs. First time that's ever happened, you feel me? Part of me is pulling for Embiid to win, too. He's really going crazy this year. Shout out to Joel Embiid. Next, we got the Minnesota Timberwolves at 4-1, and one, you feel me? They might lose tonight. They had a great week. Great week, led by Anthony Edwards, another candidate for MVP. I feel like he's not going to get it because this is the first year the Timberwolves have been good. You feel me? They haven't had no heartbreak. No heartbreak. But the Timberwolves have been going crazy. They beat the Blazers, beat the Pistons, beat the Grizzlies in a great game. Anthony Edwards went insane last night. Went insane last night. And then later on tonight, they play the OKC Thunder. I might have a watch along out for that. Stay notified. You feel me? That's four and that's three and one for the um first seed Minnesota Timberwolves. Next, going to the Eastern Conference, we got the first seed Boston Celtics. They was three and one. They beat the Spurs. They beat the Raptors. They beat the Rockets, and they lost to the Bucks in a blowout. Complete blowout. Complete blowout. You feel me? But shout out to Boston. They've been the best team in the NBA and the entire NBA. For the whole, you feel me? I would say since October. We're about to see, though. Tonight they go up against the Nuggets. We're about to see. We're about to see. I'm expecting a great game between that. The Denver Nuggets against the Boston Celtics. That could be a finals preview. But shout out to the Boston Celtics. And last but not least, we have the Utah Jazz. Yes, the Utah Jazz is making my power rankings. They are on a six-game winning streak right now. Six-game winning streak, bro. I think the Utah Jazz probably have the most assets that should get traded. They got Jordan Clarkson, J.R. Smith, Colin Sexton, and Laurie Marketing. Y'all can get damn near three draft picks for three of those players separately. Y'all can get nine draft picks back for them three players separately. I feel like definitely, to, I mean, Utah should start tanking. They should, bro. Y'all not going to do nothing in the playoffs, but y'all winning games. Y'all got mad talent, you feel me? Colin Sexton, Laurie Marketing, Jordan Clarkson. That's already like 80 points right there. Just them three. You feel me? Shout out to Utah Jazz, though. Great week. Six-game winning streak, like I said. Beat the 76ers. Beat the Nuggets. Beat the Bucks. Beat the Pacers. Beat the Raptors. And beat the Los Angeles Lakers. That's crazy. That is crazy, bro. That is crazy. You feel me? They are a few steps away from draft picks, from being a championship team, I mean. That's why they should make trades. It's not like if they get one superstar, they're a championship team. 
They just had Spider Mitchell a few years ago, and they did nothing. So it was like, y'all are pieces away from being a championship team, but y'all definitely have enough talent where it's like, y'all can make the league more better. You feel me? Y'all can make other teams more better around the league. That's my opinion, you feel me? But shout out to Utah Jazz. This week we got NBA Rivals Week coming up. I'm going to try to do a fourth quarter watch along every day this week, probably multiple times this week. So turn on your bell for notifications. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll be back with more.